Well, headline that's hard to digest. Colorado has a shortage of available psychiatric beds, putting us in the bottom among states across the country. It's affecting people committed for treatment and those ordered there by courts after they get in trouble with the law. Yeah, there's an organization. It's called the Treatment Advocacy Center. It found 448 people were in the criminal justice system waiting for a bed at a psychiatric hospital. Mm. Brian, they usually wait for months in jails without conviction. Wow. Wait, yeah, waiting for those beds. You're Reporter Alan Janae has been following the shortage of these beds and the problems that force families to push people who need help into the criminal justice system. Alan joins us now. And Alan, tell us more about uh, how we rank in all of this. Well, it's certainly not good, Karen. In Colorado, it is extremely difficult to get someone civilly committed when they need severe mental health care. Many, of course, end up on the streets or they end up in the hands of law enforcement, where many families are told is the best place to get them help. This shows how few options there really are. On our streets, in our criminal justice system, places where we house people in crisis. The Treatment Advocacy Center says the number of state hospital beds has now reached an historic low across the country. What we're doing is not working, or at least it's not working fast enough to halt the trends. You know, they're like talking to me and like being rude. We have showed you the story of Olivia Schack with schizoaffective disorder who was living on the streets and now her family was told getting her arrested was the best answer to help her. She waited six months in jail for a spot at the state's mental health facility in Pueblo. In the last 10 years, we have seen a 46 percent increase in severe mental illness. The state's director of the Office of Civil and Forensic Mental Health testified to a justice committee of the legislature Wednesday that demand has has increased. The study shows in 2016 there were 543 beds in the state system. Last year, just 482. People with no options like Olivia end up in jail. The conclusion that you almost can't avoid from looking at these numbers is that we're we're really creating a system that's invested almost entirely in ensuring that we're only delivering care after a crime has been committed. The data is showing us that more beds make a difference. Leora Joseph says the average wait for people is 93 days. While they have added beds back over the past year, there are still empty beds because of the difficulty recruiting and retaining nurses. She is asking the state for more help for a system overworked and overwhelmed as demand increases and people go without proper care. And if you don't treat a situation, what happens? It gets worse. So it's growing and growing upon itself. Now, judges being asked by lawyers are committing more people for forensic mental health examinations to see if they can be made OK to stand trial. But that means even more pressure on the system and fewer available beds for people who aren't in the criminal justice system and need severe mental health care. Does that push more families to push people into the criminal justice system? That's anybody's guess. In Denver, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First. Alan, we appreciate your reporting on this. Thank you.